Also, I want to point you to the start and the end bubbles. If you guys notice this, this is the entire flow of our API scenario. And it starts here and it goes through everything and it ends here. And at the start, you can see over here in the property section, we also have some tabs. So we have the test settings tab. Remember before, maybe we would have had to go into here and modify some stuff. Now you can just do it here by just, you know, changing anything you want. User defined timeout and so on and so forth. You can automatically generate selectors, stop test on failure. Then we have test input and output properties. Here you can add, if you want, some outputs and some input parameters, just like we used to do in the old versions. We got the test variables. So here you guys can check out all the test variables. So these variables show things like, you know, the test directory, test name, local host name, so on. Then we have dependencies. So here may just be a list of some resources and so on, whatever's relevant to the test. And then just like all others, we have the events tab. Same thing, you can add stuff before the execution and after the execution of this step. And same thing goes for the end scenario. It's got some properties, some steps, some variables, and some events. Okay, so this is kind of the general overview of what's going on here and how you guys are going to interact with the API. The rest should be kind of self-explanatory as we go through it. Hopefully it all makes sense.